So this week I updated the Shadow Cabinet on the dire state of our local government in England. One of the things that's absolutely crucial is that our councils are given the tools and the resources that they're able to deliver quality public services. And you know, our councils since 2010 have lost around 49% of their direct funding from central government. That's putting an enormous pressure on our key public services but this has happened at a time that demand for those people-based services, particularly adult social care and children's services, has been increasing. And that's meant that many of our councils are faced with real financial difficulties. And what we see is that so many of our councillors, of all political persuasions and none, now fear that they're not able to deliver a properly financially sustainable system of local government in England for the future. So the facts speak for themselves. Local councils have lost around £16 billion uh, in core funding up until 2020. And the Local Government Association now estimates that by 2025, the funding gap annually between what a council needs to spend and what it has to spend will be around £8 billion across the whole of England. That is just unsustainable. And you know, when you look at the situation today, it's pretty bleak. Local councils are now housing 79,000 families in temporary accommodation. Last year, we saw the largest single increase in children in care uh, than uh, in any year since 2010. And adult social care in absolute crisis after year on year cuts, we are now spending less this year on adult social services than we did in 2005, six. That's just not sustainable for English local government. Next year, 168 councils will receive no more core central government funding at all. And the Local Government Association estimates that even plugging their expected £8 billion funding gap would only just keep services standing still and does not in any way cover the funding needed to improve services or reverse any of the cuts made to date. The next Labour government pledges to invest in our public services because politics is a question of priorities and we will make the right tax and spending decisions to ensure that our vital public services, like those delivered by local government, will receive the resources they need. Now, I've been discussing how to implement our manifesto because so much of it will be delivered by local councils. And we'll need to have a thorough redesign of our system for funding local councils going forward. It is about giving councils and councillors, as well as the local communities they serve, the hope that one day we'll be able to deliver the quality services we all strive for because we deserve quality public services and local government working for the many and not the few.